Hello and welcome to this video on how to install the Noctua NH-U14S on an AMD processor. This cooler uses the Secure Firm 2 mounting system and therefore this tutorial could be adapted to go with any cooler using that mounting system. For the installation of this cooler you will need a number of items, all of which are supplied in the box. These items are the AMD mounting hardware, thermal compound, the heatsink and fan, and a screwdriver. To start off with, you want to remove both side panels from your computer. If you don't have two side panels or you don't have a CPU cutout on your motherboard tray, you will also want to move your motherboard. Now you will want to remove the four screws holding down the original mounting points for the stuck cooler. It's now time to install the mountain hardware as shown on screen, with a screw going through first the AMD mountain bracket and then the plastic spacer. While holding your CPU backplate in place, install your new mountain hardware in the four holes surrounding your CPU. Tighten these screws until they stop. You will need to remove the fan from the heatsink in order to continue with the installation. To do this you need to pull up and back on the two retention clips on the fan. When applying your thermal compound you can either use an aftermarket thermal compound like I'm using or you can use the one in the box. You want to apply no more than about the size of a cut grain of ice. Too little or too much thermal compound can cause your CPU to overheat. It's now time to install your heatsink. To do this you need to make sure your heatsink is oriented so the screws on the heatsink are over the screw threads on the mounting hardware. You do not need to pre-spread out your thermal compound at all, as a heatsink will do this for you. When tightening the screws during heatsink, you want to only do a small bit by hand at first in order to keep the heatsink in place. Now the heatsink is held in place, you need to fully tighten the screws. You'll do this with a screwdriver, tightening one screw at a time in small amounts, crossing between them both, in order to not create unnecessary pressure on the CPU. You'll tighten the screws until they stop. The arrows on the fan will show the direction of airflow the fan will create. Make sure this is either pushing or pulling air through your heatsink. Rotate the fan until the cable is closest to the CPU fan header on your motherboard. You'll also want to make sure that the clips can still go over the heatsink like they originally came on. To connect the fan to the heatsink you need to pull both clips over the first notch on the heatsink. The fan will plug into the fan header on the motherboard marked CPU fan. You now just need to plug in the fan and the installation is complete. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like this video. And if you want to stay tuned for more of my videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you are still struggling with installing this CPU cooler, then leave a comment down below and I can get back to you as soon as possible.